Now you have several different ways to apply a style. You can do it implicitly. We've only done it explicitly so far. To apply a style implicitly, you specify only a target type for the style. You don't supply the x colon key attribute, and in that case, since it doesn't have a key, you can't apply it explicitly. You can only apply it implicitly, and any element of the type you specify in the target type will automatically be styled using the style that you've created. Or you can apply it explicitly as we did in the previous example. There you specify both the target type and the x colon key attribute. And then you must set the style attribute for the element to that key value. If you set the x colon key attribute for a style, then it will only apply to elements that have their style attribute set to match that x colon key value. Let's look at setting styles implicitly and explicitly. As I promised, we need to look first at the style attribute of each button. Although we use the properties window to set this style, you can see it creates for you a static resource reference to colorful button style. Here to resolve that reference, the XAML parser will look within the current control for that style, doesn't find it. It'll look in its container, the stack panel, didn't find it there. It'll look in the container of that, the grid, which doesn't have any resources set. If it doesn't find it there, it will look in the page resources, and there it does find the style it needs. Now, just to mention, if it doesn't find it there, it will look in app.xaml for that style. So far, we've set our styles explicitly. We explicitly indicated the style for each button here in this markup. Let me copy one of these, add a fourth button, there we are, and let's change this to fourth button and remove that style. And as you might imagine, the fourth button does not get that style. Why should it? Nothing said that it should. Okay, now here's a trick. Let's come up to our style and remove the x colon key attribute. Well, at this point, certainly the markup down here is unhappy, but did you notice that when we removed the x colon key attribute, the fourth button automatically got the same style? That's because now we're applying that style implicitly. We don't have to explicitly indicate it. And of course, I wouldn't want to have down here these style attributes set. If we come down for each of these and remove them, the markup is happier, and each button on this page shares that same style. Because we've implicitly applied the style to each button by not including the x colon key attribute here on the style. If we put it back, if I put, say, colorful button style here, nobody gets the style. Let me remove that so we get things back the way they were.